Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I've got some coins to show to you that, see if we can get a clear image on these, I want you to take a look at and see that there's something amiss with, a, with a, well, half of these coins. And we're going to try to take a closer look so you can tell it doesn't show up quite as easily through the, um, through the screen here, through the video that I am taking. But I want you to see what counterfeits look like. And some of these counterfeits are a little bit better than others. But there's one thing that they all have in common, and that is that the, um, the color and strike are all a kind of a giveaway. So if you, if you couldn't tell, the coin on the right for each of these series is a counterfeit. Uh, some of them are, are a little bit more obvious. It's easy to see, to me, this 10, lib 10 Liberty at a distance. This is the type of coin that you can see of the picture on eBay real fast. And the coin is just too bright. Looks like it was struck yesterday, has no marks on it. Uh, it actually has a pretty strong strike uh, based on how we were testing it. It was only coming back, it was only coming back uh, 14 karat. Let's slow down and take a look. Up, the funny thing about this coin is up close, it's actually um, has a real strong strike, which is unusual for counterfeit coins. But uh, what I want you to pay attention to up close is the granular finish, even over like the hairline. You see how the hairline, all the hair has kind of a granular look to it kind of bumpy. That is not how it should look. Um, those points up there, you should be able to see, look more like this original coin where um, it just has kind of a refined finish to it, a little bit stronger, stronger look. And then the, I think we'll see the same thing on the reverse of both of these coins. When you look at the back side. You're going to see a real granular finish on the wings. And that's kind of a giveaway on, on this particular coin. All right, next let's take a look at these two five Indians. Also, you'll notice this Indian has a similar uh, look to it that that $10 Liberty has. The one on the right has this kind of bright look to it. And we'll take a closer look at both of these coins here. So you can see some of the differences between what a real strike should look like. Look at the detail and the feathers. Even though this coin has some wear on it, you look at this coin that looks bright and uncirculated. And yet once again, the detail and the feathers become kind of washed out. And there's a little bit of that granular finish to them also. Same with the fields, that nice flat open surface is very granular looking. And then see how weak the Liberty looks and the stars, how softly struck they are. When you look at these, how much deeper, deeper they look. So overall, your strike quality is a real big factor in being able to tell when a coin is authentic or not. Now we're going to go to the two and a half Indians. And this one actually also has that bright finish to it and a little bit of the same things that you're going to see from the one here that's real the strike quality the details in the feathers and the stars and the liberty and this one actually the liberty struck pretty strong and so are the stars and then you look though the uh the feathers and the headdress are are very soft even though the coin looks like it's uncirculated it's very soft. So also one of the things to look for are little di um, little depressions on the coin. So you want to look for some depressions in the coins um, that, that aren't contact marks. So this has a couple interesting ones. There's this real big one behind the eagle's head. So it takes a little bit of time to kind of distinguish the difference between a contact mark when a coin's just been hit by another coin. 
you'll see a lot of little abrasions on this coin in the field behind the eagle's head in that big open field. But then some of those contact points are uh, don't have any metal revealed underneath. In other words, they're kind of a part of what you're looking at. So what I want to focus on is there's a little dot um, right about here between the G above the G off to the side. We'll see how close we can look at this here. Pull out the 20 power loop. See if we can get it. Okay, so there's a dot uh, just um, about an equal distance from the G and the eagle's back, just a little bit north of the G, uh, but to the left of the G. So that dot is almost a perfect little circle, and that's that's indicative of something that is not a contact mark. The real big dot behind his eagle's head is, is something you don't normally see on counterfeits. That's a real big mark, but you got there'd be lots of these little marks like the dot that I'm talking about here, which if I had four hands, I could probably do this. Oh, here we go. It's right there. Boy, my hands aren't steady. All right, anyway, these, these are counterfeits that you're gonna see. This is the type of stuff you see on eBay. These to me are the more obvious type, partially because they all have that kind of softer, lighter color to them. But uh, I hope you learned something today by watching this video. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen.